Combs, former Los Angeles, Angeles County prosecutor, joining us from Los Angeles tonight. There have been some statements allegedly made that are in the probable cause uh, affidavit here of the search warrant stating that the wife of the next door neighbor who allegedly had the affair or currently having the affair with Aaron Coombs, the wife said that they're never going to be able to prosecute this because they're never going to be able to find the body. They didn't search in the right location. How incriminating is something like that when it gets in the hands of prosecutors? Well, Jean, as you know, that could be extremely incriminating. It looks like it's implying that she knows where the body is, that it's um, hidden very well, and that she has some knowledge of what happened. However, the person who gave this statement to the police, the friend, quote unquote, friend of the wife, has backed off that and said, we were just talking about cases in general, that in cases where there isn't a body, that it's harder to solve the crime. So it'll be interesting to see what that statement is when it actually gets in front of a jury and how it comes across to the jury, whether it's very strong incriminating this person or whether it's become more vague and generalized. It, well, Jeff Gold, then how do you rectify the fact that the probable cause statements says that the wife of the alleged boyfriend of Aaron Corwin said, you know, my husband never gets his facts straight and, and his lies just don't add up. And, and that is what investigators are looking at right now. Well, this is someone who's uh, not too happy with her husband, who's alleged to have an affair with the neighbor, uh, but everybody's a detective these days. Everybody's a criminal defense attorney or a prosecutor, and everybody knows without a body, it's hard to prosecute it. So she may just be speculating. Uh, I don't think the fact she doesn't like him, think he's a liar because he was having an affair, really means uh, anything more. She's just pissed at him. Trinity 100 Mark, defense attorney joining us out of Atlanta, Georgia. Investigators are going one step farther now. They are finally saying that they, are, they believe there has been foul play. And also in previous search warrants that we were able to read, we saw that they were looking for containers, containers in the home, in the garage, in storage units. Mm. They were also looking for tissue in a car, in a vehicle. What does that tell you? I mean, it would tell me, Jean, that they're looking for, for ways and, and individuals that may have hidden a body. And I think there have been two different search warrants. There's one for the husband, and there's been one to search this neighbor. So my question is, is do they even know who they're looking at? Again, at this point, nobody's officially a suspect. Nobody's officially been, you know, released as a person of interest or having been arrested with regard to this. But it looks like they're looking for someone that may have hidden a body or have an ability to have hidden a body or, you know, created some sort of, you know, diversion to where this individual is. And up until